Josh Duggar shared a slight smile with onlookers while leaving a court hearing with his wife Anna after a judge denied four out of five of his motions to suppress evidence and dismiss his child porn case. Josh Duggar, 33, and his wife Anna, 33, who is expecting their seventh child, were filmed leaving a courthouse after a hearing for his child pornography case on September 27. The reality stars held hands and shared smiles with photographers as they walked through the doors outside and wore professional-looking attire that included a gray suit and blue tie for him, and a pink short sleeve dress for her. The sighting, which can be seen below, came after a judge denied four out of five of Josh's motions dismissed the case. Josh, who has been charged with receiving and possessing child sex abuse material, and his team filed the motions regarding evidence in the case but court records obtained by people confirmed the denial. The requests included a motion to suppress statements Josh allegedly made to federal agents during the investigation, a motion to dismiss the case entirely with claims that investigators failed to preserve potentially exculpatory evidence, a motion to suppress photos of Josh's hands and feet taken while he was in custody, and a motion to dismiss Josh's indictment due to technicalities over who was running the Department of Homeland Security during the investigation. A fifth motion, which is another request to suppress evidence, has yet to be ruled on by the judge. Related Gallery Joy Anna Duggar, Pix Josh was arrested in April and pleaded not guilty to the charges against him. He was released pending his November 30th trial and was granted unlimited contact with the six children he shares with Anna, including Mackenzie Renee, 11, Michael James, 10, Marcus Anthony, 8, Meredith Grace, 6, Mason Garrett, 4, and one-year-old Mariella Hope, as long as Anna is present. He is not, however, allowed to see any other minor children, including his nieces and nephews. If Josh is convicted, he faces up to 20 years of prison time and up to $25,000 in fines on each of the two counts, which could add up to a 40-year sentence, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Western District of Arkansas.